Today we're going to replace a master cylinder on a 99 Grand Prix GTP. Okay, so here's the master cylinder. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect both brake lines. Uh, you can see one right there. And uh, I'm going to do that using um, a thick wrench. I don't have the, you should use a flare knot wrench to loosen lines so you don't round off the line. But if you don't have a flare knot wrench for this particular size, which I don't, Make sure you use a nice thick wrench that won't bend under pressure. Okay, here's an example. Okay, wrench on the left is the one I'm using. The wrench on the right, you wouldn't want to use. Don't use a thin wrench because it will bend under pressure. See the thickness difference? This is the one I'm going to use. nice thing about these braided brake lines is you can move them out of the way like that. Okay, next the master cylinder is held on by two 15 millimeter nuts. You can only see one right now uh, just because the camera angle is kind of crazy. Got to take those off now and then at the top there's an electrical connector to disconnect for the brake fluid sensor. This electrical connector on the side right here, it's kind of hard for you to see. Go. And then we got one on the left. Okay, now she just she should just come right off. There we go. Okay, so here's the new master cylinder. Um, I like to get new master cylinders rather than rebuilt ones simply because I just believe the master cylinder has such an essential job of stopping your vehicle you should really get a new one. So we're going to remove these plugs here on the ports and we're going to put in these um, little bleeding ports right here they're green and they have this sort of end of port at the end where you attach these tubes Okay, we're just going to tighten these very gently just to seal them. Keep in mind they're plastic. So now, we're going to open up the reservoir and we're going to fill this with brake fluid. Next, we're going to attach these ports, or these tubes, onto these ports here and feed them back into the reservoir. And this is to bench bleed it, because every master cylinder needs to be bench bled. Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready to start the bench bleeding process. Um, if you have a vise, use a vise. I don't have one, but um, if you do have a vise, make sure you don't clamp this thing in there really tight or you can deform the bore and really mess up your master cylinder. So. I just have it against the wall, and you want to get some sort of object like uh, uh, like a blunt object or a wooden dowel or something like that so you won't damage the piston. And here I'm just using these handles of pliers because that's the only thing I can find. And I have the tubes going back into the reservoir, and I'm just going to push on the piston, maybe like an inch at a time. You do this to protect the seal in there. We're just going to go in and out a little bit at a time and it's going to push all the air out into the top of the reservoir and you just keep going until you can't see any more air. Also when you're doing this take a look down the master cylinder and watch for bubbles to come up. You're not done until the master cylinder stops producing bubbles out the reservoir. Okay, so here we go. Gonna push. You can see the air bubbles coming up.
And you want to make sure you go nice and slow. Okay, we just about reached the end of the bleeding procedure. There's no more bubbles coming out, and the piston is getting harder to push in. So, let's put it back on the car, and then we'll bleed the brake. I'm not going to tighten them because I still need to attach the lines and I want to have some wiggle room. It makes it easier. Okay, now let's take out these uh, bleeding ports. Put the brake lines back in. Back in. You don't want to cross thread these, that's why you leave the master cylinder loose. So you can move it around and get it to where you need it to be. And the other one in. And now we just tighten them up. guys up. Okay. Okay, this is Brian. He's going to help me bleed today. Okay, so I'm going to have Brian step on the pedal three times and then hold it on the last one. And while he's holding it, I'm going to disconnect both lines, or one line at a time, from the master cylinder and bleed the air out of it. And we're going to keep doing that until all the air is out. Ready? Ready. Just one, two, three, hold. Yep. One, two, three, holding. Okay, let's do it again. The back one. One, two, three. Holding. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, keep doing it. That's it, thanks for watching. All right, so I pulled up the rug, or took the passenger seat out. Pulled up the okay, we're just about at 18 PSI. So we're going to leave this here and watch the needle. 